There's lots of practical things we could consider, we could consider and implement. However, you'll never be free if you fail to see in Jesus Christ the all-surpassing worth and glory and value and desire just to honor Him with every fiber of your being. He's worthy of it. I mean, it's possible to construct a life of self-denial and establish disciplines that you know, could remove sexual immorality out of your life. That is possible. And yet, if the primary source of cutting off that from your life is rooted in just removal of guilt or shame, and it's not out of love for Jesus Christ, it's not going to last. It won't last. Something of the worthiness and preciousness of Jesus is seriously missing in the porn viewer's life. Those two things aren't even worthy to be mentioned in the same sentence. They're, they're, they're so distant and so opposite in what they yield. Let me just ask you, have you ever seen your sin to be as wicked as the wicked and heinous thing that it is before a holy God. You realize what happened to Jesus is because of sin. That was God's judgment. That was God's judgment on His Son. His perfect Son. In whom He was well pleased. He never, sin- he never had an impure thought. Not one. Do you fear God? Can you imagine Christ coming back in the splendor of His glory while you're over here pleasing yourself with some fake God-hating woman who will quickly become one of the most hideous, foul-looking creatures imaginable once she falls under the divine judgment of God? She won't be looking like that. Is that, is that how you want to meet Christ? I can't think you do. Do you imagine yourself to be worthy of anything outside of the pit of hell? Because you're not. Do you understand that if you're a true follower of Jesus Christ, that He. I want you to get this. This is for Christians only here. If you're a true follower of Christ, He became that porn viewer on that tree. He became it for you. So that you might be made the righteousness of God in Him. That's, that's beyond remarkable. Does that mean anything to you? That's only real to you if repentance is real in your heart. And repentance is real in your heart if the actual change happens in your life. This excerpt was taken from the full sermon, Choose Life or Lust, Christ or Sexual Sin, by Craig Musselman, who serves as one of the pastors at Grace Community Church in San Antonio, Texas.